Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Brennan Sapp, and as principal, it's my honor to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Scott High School, class of 2018. At this time, please welcome senior class president, Ms. Bailey Elkins, to give the opening reflections and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2018. It is an honor to be speaking in front of you as your student body president on our graduation day. Every day this year, we woke up, hit the snooze button two or seven times in my case, rolled out of bed and grumbled, the whole time thinking, just a few more months, just a few more weeks, just a few more days, just a few more hours. What kept us going was knowing that the finish line was within reach, the light at the end of the tunnel. Still, through tests and homework, ACTs and countless cups of coffee, we finally made it graduation day. Our parents were right, it does go by quickly. There is a truth that we all have to face whether or not we want to, that everything comes to an end. I sincerely hope that every one of you cherished the precious moments of high school and learned from the not so precious moments because no matter how bad you may want to, you can't come back to high school. Senior year wasn't just about procrastination or walking into class right before the bell rang. It was about change. Next year, we will be living in new places, doing new things, and meeting new people. Everything we know about our lives right now will change. But there is something amazing about that. We have the opportunity to make a difference. We've already decided the direction our lives are headed over the next few years. Now, we get to choose where we want to go, what we want to do, and most importantly, who we want to be. I remember when I was little, people would ask me what I wanted to be whenever I grew up. Little did I know I would not grow up to be a famous singer. How was I supposed to know what I wanted to be? Grown-ups were old, and I was never going to grow up. But as time would have it, here I am, here we all are, grown up, and are forced to answer the question, what do I want to be? In most speeches, there's an inspiring quote from an intellectual person from a long time ago. I don't have one of these quotes for you today because I encourage you to be one of those people. Be the person that people quote in graduation speeches. The person whose name is written on an index card for, mis for students to study for Mr. Moore's history exams. Make a child refer to you as their role model when someone asks them the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Tomorrow morning, you will wake up and be able to say, I am no longer a student at Scott High School. So who will you be? Thank you. At this time, our senior choir members will join the chorus for their final song, A Million Dreams by Paul Pasquet.
At this time, I'd like our special guests to stand and be recognized as their names are called. Superintendent of the Kenton County School District, Dr. Henry Webb. Kenton County Board of Education member, Ms. Jessica Jean. Kenton County Director of Learning and Leadership, Ms. Martha Setters. Assistant Principal, Mr. Shane Rogers. Assistant Principal, Mrs. Carolyn Stewart. Guidance Counselor, Ms. Dana Davis. Senior Class Sponsor, Ms. Debbie Pleasant. English Teacher and your Narrator this afternoon, Mr. Tom Clark. Thank you. Also seated behind these people on our stage are members of our current faculty and other supporters. We appreciate them here as well. At this time, our senior band members will join the band for their final song, Movement 3 from the first suite in E flat by Gustav Holst. At this time, please welcome senior Gerald Sini for final words to his classmates.
Good afternoon. Well, here it is. We made it. Well, almost. You have to get over one last obstacle before you can get your diploma and officially become a proud Scott High School alumni. And that's hearing me talk way too much for one last time. This is it. We have now spent one fifth of our life in school. We've spent our whole life so far waking up at 6 a.m., going to school at 7.40, and getting out at 2.30 on top of any extracurricular activity we partake in. We have been consumed by school and all activities related to it, for better or for worse. But most of all, what we have been doing is learning. Whether it's learning how to walk, how to make friends, or how to pass all your classes, we've learned to do it all. Let's reflect on some of the important topics I've learned in Scott High School. One, the mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Two, Chicken Tender Wednesday is the third greatest holiday behind Xmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> but most of all, what I've learned is how great of a community Scott High School is. I've gotten to know the classes before us and the classes be that are to follow. But there's something special about the class of 2018. Let's reflect on what big accomplishments have happened. We have reached the state finals in boys soccer, the semifinals in basketball and volleyball. We've had several outstanding theatrical performances as well as amazing band and choir performances like you've heard today. We have had, we have had some of the highest test scores in CCR seniors in Scott's history and we are the top, uh, we are the top school in the district yet again. We have changed the way everyone looks at Scott. We have set a great example, and now everyone wants to learn how they can be like us. It is because we are amazing, and we are together. I want to personally thank you, Class of 2018, for making me who I am today. We have been surrounded by each other for all of our lives. In doing that, every single one of you has influenced me in some way. Whether you're my friend, acquaintance, or you hate me because I won't wrap this up, I want to thank you. The staff also deserves a tremendous amount of gratitude as well. They have spent their whole life in this system and are here to better us, even when what ha they have been guaranteed has been stripped away from them. They do this because they care for us and they love us. And we can't forget about the parents who got on us every day, who push us to the moon and back, and for loving us unconditionally. However, all good things have to come to an end at one point. This is the end of us being in Scott High School. No more spirit weeks, no more homecomings and proms, and no more do we have to come in at 7.40 a.m. and leave at 2.30. For most of us, we are on our own now. We are going to college, entering the armed forces, working hard every day in life, or we're undecided how we're going to change the world. It is now time to take all that we have learned and use it to make a difference. We are capable of doing so much in this world, and we are just oozing potential. It's now up to you to decide how you are going to use that potential. It is sad to say one last goodbye to you guys, because many of us sadly won't see each other again. That's why we'll immortalize the class of 2018. I would like to ask all of you to join me in one last selfie. to look pretty. <laughs> I took two separate ones, so tell me what side you're on, I'll give it. I love every single one of you guys, and one last time, we made it, class of 2018. Nice job. Nice job. Will the class of 2018 please stand? Dr. Henry Webb, 
I am proud to announce that each senior who this afternoon receives his or her diploma has successfully completed the program of studies as defined by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and has met additional requirements established by Kenton County Board of Education. At this time, it is my pleasure to present the Board of Education the 2018 graduating class of Scott High School. Please be seated and welcome to the stage, Scott High School Guidance Counselor, Ms. Dana Davis. Good afternoon. My name's Dana Davis. I am one of the counselors at Scott and it is my pleasure to describe the requirements of the Scott High School Diploma and to decipher the Latin system of recognition. Each graduate that you see here before you has earned and will receive a Scott High School Diploma. This diploma represents successful completion of at least 28 credits of coursework. That is, it includes a combination of 16 required and 12 elective credits. Beginning with the class of 2016, we have been using the Latin system to recognize our distinguished graduates. There are three levels of achievement in the Latin system. Most all of us on this stage have a hard time remembering which is which. I'm sure you all do too. The first level is called cum laude. It's Latin. The word cum means with and laude means honor. So the group that's called cum laude is graduating with honor. These students are wearing bronze and white cords today and they have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.8. We have 28 students graduating cum laude. The next level is called magna cum laude. Again, it's Latin, magna, like magnificent, means great, and then cum laude, of course, with honor. So magna cum laude means graduating with great honor. These students are wearing silver and white cords. They have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.9 to 4.19. We have 38 students graduating magna cum laude. At the highest level of achievement is the summa cum laude distinction. Summa, like summit, like the highest point you can possibly get to. They are graduating with highest honors. They have a GPA of 4.2 or higher. They are wearing golden white cords today and we have 17 students graduating summa cum laude. Will the students in the front row please stand? The first students to receive their diplomas are our summa cum laude students. These are our students with a 4.2 or higher GPA. Superintendent Dr. Webb and board members will present their diplomas. Please hold your applause until the students have received their diplomas. It is extremely important that each student's name is heard when the diplomas are presented. Instead of applause, we ask for the family and invited guests of each graduate to stand, if able, when the graduate's name is called. Mr. Tom Clark will call the graduates. Haley Christine Back is graduating summa cum laude. Jordan Marie Tapp, graduating summa cum laude. Josephine Catherine Schultz, graduating summa cum laude.
Alexis Ryan Huth, graduating summa cum laude. Her diploma is being presented by her mother, a Scott High School faculty member. Brooke Elizabeth Niederreger, graduating summa cum laude. Brooke Ann Thornsburg, graduating summa cum laude. Ashton Marie Pike, graduating summa cum laude. Her diploma is being presented by her mother, staff member at Taylor Mill Elementary. Jacob Dylan Beckelheimer, graduating summa cum laude. Eric Daniel Maines, graduating summa cum laude. Emma Christine Walbrink, graduating summa cum laude. William Nathaniel Winkle, graduating summa cum laude. Kelly Marie Franksman, graduating summa cum laude. Taylor Christine Alano, graduating summa cum laude. Lindsay Danielle Fox, graduating summa cum laude. Michael Travis LaRoche, graduating summa cum laude. Peyton Joe Fike, graduating summa cum laude. Lauren Sue Ellen Oldages, graduating summa cum laude. Nathaniel Adam Addington, graduating magna cum laude. Christian Jason Back. Allison Teresa Baker, graduating magna cum laude. Alexander Lee Baldrick. Peyton Lee Ballinger, graduating magna cum laude. Eric DeAndre Barber. Caitlin Michaela Beach, graduating magna cum laude. Andrew Abraham Bell. Joshua Eric Bishop. Madison Tory Lynn Blackburn. Gina Nicole Booker. Graduating magna cum laude. Sarah Hope Bowling, graduating magna cum laude. Benjamin Joseph Braun, graduating cum laude. Haley Ann Louise Brinkman. Christopher Donald Brockman. Zachary William Camilleri. Elijah Walker Carroll. Courtney Page Cheeseman.
Joshua Isaiah Clark. Anna Grace Clefane, graduating magna cum laude. James Roger Klein. Mackenzie Charlene Colliers. Ricky Charles Collins. Chloe Marie Cook, graduating magna cum laude. Lena Nassim Daher, graduating magna cum laude. Zachary Mohammed Daher. Micah James Davison, graduating cum laude. Gabriella Holly Faith Delaney, graduating cum laude. Emily Nicole Dickman, graduating cum laude. Julia Ann Dobbs. Samuel Logan Dornbach, graduating cum laude. Sophie Lane Duncan. Jacob Burling Durstock. Jasmine Bell Dwertman. Catherine Lee Egbring. Bailey Morgan Elkins, graduating magna cum laude. Devin Michael Arian, graduating cum laude. Caden Lee Eubank, graduating cum laude. Chase Maxwell Fay. Eliza Corinne Feeback. Bobby Maria Fisher, graduating cum laude. Brittany Ann Forge. Rachel Elizabeth Fox, graduating cum laude. Ethan Alexander Frazier, graduating magna cum laude. Jessica Rose Fryman. Victoria Leanna Lynn Fryman. Nathaniel James Fuller. Logan Marcus Fulmer, graduating magna cum laude. Jonathan Edwards Fultz.
Haley Renee Gabbard, graduating magna cum laude. Jennifer Lynn George, graduating cum laude. Brandon Franklin Gibbs. Cassidy Marie Gibson, graduating cum laude. Ethan Michael Girdler. Declan Joseph Glynn, graduating magna cum laude. Jacob Robin Getz. Dylan Wayne Gooch. Brittany Lynn Green. Jenna K. Gripsover, graduating magna cum laude. Jesus Adrian Guajardo Spivey. Sydney Taylor Haley. Mark Anthony Hardiman. Morgan Elizabeth Hardin, graduating magna cum laude. Ashley Nicole Hardy, graduating cum laude. Reagan May Hearn. David Jesse Henry. James Jeffrey Hensley. David Kenneth Hess, Jr. Ethan David Hines. Abby Samantha Hoffman, graduating magna cum laude. Caleb Robert Hoffman. Ariel Renee Howe. Jarrett Foster Hungler. Noah Ivory Hunter. Graduating cum laude. Joshua Albert Huth. Shelby Lynn Jump, graduating magna cum laude. Anthony Jacob Kent, graduating magna cum laude. Callie Ray Kitts. Jonathan Paul Klein. Jenna Ann Kleeman. Brandon Joseph Corti, graduating cum laude.
Sydney Peyton Kratz, graduating magna cum laude. Haley Corinne LaFollette. Tyler James Larison. Jake Augustine Lafette. David Macy Lightfoot. Hannah Janelle Loftus, graduating magna cum laude. Jeffrey Michael Madison. Michael Perry Martis. Sabrina Elise Martis, graduating magna cum laude. Sophia Grace Mars. Ileana Renee Marsh. Aliyah Brianna Alexandra Martinez. Mackenzie Nicole Miranda, graduating magna cum laude. Joseph Edward Meyer, graduating cum laude. Kylie Ray Meyer, graduating cum laude. Tava Nicole Malay. Ashley Michelle Mitchell. Haley Nicole Morris. Abigail Jillian Moser. Nicholas Keith Mullins. Colin David Neal. James Anthony Neary. Jade Nicole Newspickle, graduating magna cum laude. Peyton Lynn Nickel, graduating cum laude. Colin Corbett Knee Neighbor. Ashley Marie Noble. Trevor James Nolan. Kylie Alyssa Norton, graduating cum laude. John Carlo Nuestro, graduating magna cum laude. Megan Marie Ortwine, graduating magna cum laude. Yay! 
Josiah Mikel Orzali. Alana Christine Eloise Otten. Gage Alexander Paff. Joel Morgan Paris, graduating magna cum laude. Jaden Matthew Paris. Colin Jackson Parsons. Rhiannon Shaban Pattinson, cum graduating cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Penniston. Nelson Eddie Perrin the third Tatiana Ion Pleasant. Her diploma is being presented by her mother, a Scott High School faculty member. J.C. Nickel Pogue. Jacob Brian Pouncey. Caleb B. Marcus Powell. Gabrielle Reed Powell, graduating cum laude. Gwyneth Ann Proct, graduating magna cum laude. Alexander James Price. Jessica May Price. Peyton Britanna Ridpath. <laughs> Brianne Kathleen Ritter, graduating magna cum laude. Holden Michael Robbins. Nathaniel Thomas Retger. Lauren Elizabeth Rummel, graduating cum laude. Preston Anthony Rummel. Rebecca Renee Sams. Trenton Lee Saylor. Anthony Charles Schledsker. Evan Michael Schneider, graduating magna cum laude. Ryan Jean Schwer. Kobe Jonathan Scudder.
Tally Nicole Sechrist, graduating magna cum laude. Gerald Anthony Sini, graduating magna cum laude. Brianna K. Setters. Dallas Michael Seward. Carly Marie Shea. Rachel Ann Sherrard, graduating magna cum laude. Destiny Nicole Simons. Mark Christopher Sippel, graduating magna cum laude. Mercedes Noel Smith. Andrew Travis Sanji. Courtney Faith Stamper. Chloe Morgan Stanley. Matthew Blake Stevens. His diploma will be presented by his mother, a staff member at Simon Kenton High School. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Stevens. Joseph Cornell Stewart. Cheyenne Desiree Studer. Tawny Brielle Stump. Jamie Lynn Tackett, graduating cum laude. Elijah Brock Taylor, graduating magna cum laude. Alexander Blake Thurza, graduating magna cum laude. Natalie Rose Trenkamp, graduating cum laude. Jacob Douglas Ty. Courtney Lynn Valenti, graduating cum laude. Brianna May Vanderpool. Frederick Gage Veith, graduating cum laude. Emily Lou Von Handorf, graduating cum laude. Cody Alexander Wagner. Elizabeth Ann Wagner. Lauren Michelle Walbrink, graduating magna cum laude.
Alexis Nicole Walker. Kylie Michelle Ware, graduating cum laude. Samantha Faye Wesselman, graduating cum laude. Caitlin Nicole West, graduating magna cum laude. Brooklyn Lee Williams. Donald Anthony Williams. Kinley Lane Wilson. Seth Andrew Yeary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of Scott High School 2018. Graduates, it is symbolic at this moment to move our tassel to the opposite side. Congratulations. <laughs> at this time, please welcome Mr. Michael LaRoche, Student Council President, for closing reflections. Hello, hi, and hello Scott High School graduates of 2018. That feels really good to say. I would like to start by giving ourselves another round of applause. Four years, hundreds of games, and countless assignments later, we have finally made it. It's finally our turn. In preparation for this moment, Ms. Gore asked me how I would define the class of 2018. It was a question that I could not answer, so I want to pose a question unto you, class of 2018. So how should we define ourselves? It's a tricky question, a lot harder to answer than it may seem at first. The more you think about it, the harder it becomes. The more you try to answer it, the less meaningful your words become. Perhaps we can define our class by highlighting our accomplishments. For the past four years, we have dominated school-wide competitions. Every time that we've won the hallway decorating competitions or the float building for homecoming or the windows for the winter break, we proved it. Our class has also had our fair share of state competitions. I'm sure none of us will forget going to basketball, an amazing experience for everybody that was involved. And who could forget Lindsey Fox's three-year streak as state diving champ? Yeah. We've also done great things for our community as a class. This year alone, we've organized and contributed to Scott's first successful blood drive. And let's not forget about our academic accomplishments either. 
Our class has had the highest amount of college and career ready students than ever before, and in fact, the highest in the district this year. We've also sent, oh yeah, that too. <laughs> Uh, we've also sent Jake Beckelheimer to state for Governor's Cup this year, so another one for him. Wow, our class is really awesome. These accomplishments are impressive and worthy of praise. However, our class is full of diverse individuals who tal whose talents are not limited to the accomplishments I have mentioned. This diversity doesn't weaken us, rather it strengthens us. So maybe asking how should we define our class isn't the question we need to ask. After all, this is the last time the same group of people will all be together. Maybe what we need to be asking is how should we define ourselves? To answer this question, each of us will have to look inward and reflect on the aspects that make us unique. Defining yourself takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, but if you accomplish it, it will mean everything. It decides what you do and it gives it meaning. As we sat here today, waiting for our names to be called, whether we realized it or not, we were also waiting to transition into adulthood. For some of us, this means going directly into the workforce. For others, it means going to a university to pursue a degree. And for others still, going straight into the armed forces. Regardless of the path we choose, each of us will be set forth on a journey, one of self-discovery and enlightenment. I hope you've enjoyed your time at Scott High School as I have mine, and I hope you're ready for the next chapter of your life. Congratulations once again to the Scott High School graduates of 2018. Great speeches, guys. I really appreciate it. you're doing such a good job. Good morning, Scott High School. Good morning, Scott. Yeah, you've heard that a lot this year. Well, Monday morning, 740, you'll not hear it. You may never hear it again unless someone recorded it for your wake-up call. Okay. I'm going to speak to you today for a little while about heroes. Not the heroes you see on the movies or TVs like my favorites of Yoda and Luke Skywalker. <laughs> but real heroes. We need some real heroes. Why? Well, this was a rough year. It was a sad year for a lot of people. It was a sad year for me even. I lost one of my real heroes, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking someone who had such limitations it looked like and appeared, but accomplished so much. But seriously, it was a tough year for a lot of people. A lot of political unrest, overseas, locally, politicians acting unprofessionally, multiple violent tragedies around our country, state governments even in threatening to take away needed resources. Over and over again, it seems like I, we, were hit with challenges from everywhere. It's enough to give hardworking, caring people second thoughts. You see, I'm getting old, and at times I, I think to myself, like, does it really have to be this hard? <sighs> well, as Scott, what kept happening was our students kept finding positive, productive ways to put a spin on things, to support other people. Just out of the blue, initiated by you guys, amazing positive activities would occur. A wall of positive comments would appear on a hallway. An entire floor of encouraging statements would be put together. Or you would stop by and say something nice to a teacher, myself, even stop by and try to stick up for someone that you didn't really even know. That sounds simple, but that takes a hero. I know it's corny and it's a little dramatic, but I'm not joking when I say it. 
you guys are my heroes. To have so many public examples and options to be negative and take the wrong road, but yet every day you choose to do better. You choose to be a hero. Wow. Thank you so much. But you're not done. Take a minute and celebrate, but you're not done. Now the world needs you to be heroes. One of my favorite sayings from Stephen Hawking is, is I have so much time and so much to do. I hate wasting time. Well, you have a lot to do. Don't waste time. Be a hero. And for the last time as a group, I say, thank you for being a part of the Scott community. Thank you. Thank you for coming this afternoon and sharing this special ceremony and honoring our graduates. Thank you all for your help and support over the last four years. We ask the audience members to remain in their seats until the recession is over. Graduates, please meet your families and guests outside. There is no re-entry into the facility. Family, friends, and guests, we kindly ask that you meet the graduates outside the main lobby and vault entrances. Upon exiting, please be mindful of the elderly and wheelchair guests within the concourse area. Uh, staff will be assisting in the concourse to ensure that uh, we have a clean, safe exit. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Graduates, please stand. Congratulations and good luck in the future. <laughs>